what is going on everybody hopefully you're having a great day out there as i talked about i think this video is going to come out after the psa reveal video i hope it does because otherwise it's going to make no sense whatsoever so i gotta like try to remember to do it correctly as i said with my 20 end of 2023 goals did i just make it there how'd i do we'll go over some of the big pickups in the video end of the year but uh what i was looking for for 2024 one thing that I was unsure of was Com C. I know some people like Com C, some don't. For the past probably about two to maybe even three years, I've really looked into this. I knew one guy who was a real big Com C guy that comes to the shows. He lives down the road from me. He's real big on sports lots. Actually, he's the number 17, 17 on the list of all sellers on this platform. So I talked to him for about an hour on the phone. I don't think he watches my videos, but if you do, thank you. I do appreciate it because you had to really guide me and look at a lot of different avenues onto this. I've been thinking for the longest time, like I have all these cards that, you know, I send off to like either consignment or whatever it may be to DC Sports, which I'm going to be moving away from um, just because I think there's... A lot going on at DC, and it's nothing against Zach or Kyle, those two guys, especially Kyle always helping me out. But there's been a lot of errors. A lot of their auctions aren't reaching to where they need to be at, where I'm looking at like Probstein and Com C and other areas where they are. And as anybody, you know, that gets stuff in, you want to get a max out of your card, you can. And when they're consistently falling, it's just not mine. It's some other people I've talked to. Um, you got to start looking at other areas. So I was looking at Com C now probably heavily for about the last three to four months. Like I said, it's been in my background for a long time frame on to it. And yes, I do have a Com C account. I actually transferred over my Upper Deck EPAC stuff over to it just so I can get a hang of it. I'm going to start taking a lot that I get from these collections and sending it to them. Now granted, it costs 50 cents a card for them to list it. But what I found out was it takes between a day to seven days, then they like share it on their eBay side of the house too. So instead of me having to take all these stinking pictures, do all these listings and everything, I could pay somebody 50 cents to do it. Catches their fees, 5% on a fixed item, 35 on an auction. Where they get you at is that if you take the money and send it to either PayPal or uh, check, they take 10%. That's where the big probably catch is. For me, I'm not going to cash out PayPal or get checked by it. There's a lot of cool cards on here that I could just keep my money into my store credit, they call it, even though it's money. And I can purchase very nice cards onto it. And this is going to be a venture for uh, this next year. And when I say a venture, it's because I got to get 5,000 cards listed on here eventually. Because after 90 days right now, anything over 75 cents, I got to pay a penny storage on each month. Which ain't a lot. Um, from what I've talked to with three different people on here, plus like I said, that buddy of mine, he's number 17 on there. I understand where they're at in their fees and everything. It makes sense because you move a lot, but you got to spend a lot of time on here. You got to constantly check your pricings like you would anywhere else because you're competing against everybody out there. And, you know, with the 50 cents, like I was saying, on to it to list it, I mean, you're talking 5,000 cards. That's $2,500. It's a lot of money for a lot of people out there, including myself. To really invest into it so i know i gotta do this like every week or two send them between 100 and 300 cards out but as i pick up you know collections usually like two to five a year this is gonna be my alternative method of sending it stuff out there because when i did the math on it i would make more by doing it through com c than i would through dc sports for stuff a hundred dollars and under now, well, I'm going to speak another bad word out there, Probstein. I know a lot of people don't like Probstein. I think anything over $1,000 should go to Probstein because of what you get back out of it. 
and the eyes and how much that stuff sells for compared to some of the other auction people out there. And they're getting paid for because I know, again, a couple people, and they've, you know, verified how it works. Probstein, they give you, once it all sells, they give you X amount up front. And then once it gets paid for and all this other stuff, you get the rest of it. Not bad at all. It makes sense across the world. So the two bad words that I used to always not really like, Probstein and Com C. But Probstein, I will say, when I bought two or three cards last year off of them, they ship next day. They came priority and well packaged. The only people I've seen that had better packaging has been Golden Auctions. And it's like they, they put the foam in the box and they put your cards in between the foam. It, it's great packaging. It's not often. I actually give props to people out there. I know, I know. But it's really good for their shipping. But back to Com C on to it. I think this is going to be an alternative. Well, I, I know it's going to be my alternative method to send stuff in. Oh, I thought I had my other camera on. I was going to show you like a couple cards I'm going to send to them. And just throwing it on there. And as, as time sells on to it, you know, there's Jordan autos on there. LeBron autos, Kobe autos, Nolan Ryan autos. Um, there's vintage. There's everything you need out there. Holland, Montana, Rice autos. You know, taking all that stuff and buying stuff that I like off of it and being able to, I guess you could say, capitalize more of my return value onto it. Or as a lot of people say, ROI, return on investment. So, as you guys will start seeing eventually in the videos, I might put my port up there in case people are interested in buying some of the lower end stuff that I pick up all the time on there. And it, like I said, it saves me the time where, say I'm doing... 60 to 100 cards well probably price close to 60 taking all the pictures and having to list them all might take me an hour to an hour and a half 60 cards pay third uh pay them what 60 car we'll say 50 car or 100 cards i'm paying them 50 dollars to do all that for me and i could concentrate more back into my grading the videos and everything else i don't know i mean i know there's probably some people watching this video probably do com c Please, good and bad about across the board. Kind of curious to see what everybody else thinks on to it. I've already crossed over the line, so we're going to see how well it goes um, coming out. The hard part's going to be getting all these new inventory to keep sending into it. But luckily, I have enough behind me that I could do it for about next three months after I'm going to start looking at, you know, Buying out value boxes, it shows at 40, 50 percent, seeing people will take it just to keep the inventory fresh. You know, searching Facebook Marketplace, um, offer up all the good places out there that I used to all the time. And, you know, because it's really hard to rely on word of the mouth and people find you, then, you know, you look into stuff and it actually making sense for both people across the board. No way is this like the plea like, hey, sell me your, you know, $20 and undercards at like cheap prices or anything like that. It, it's just my thought process through how I'm going to have to go through and do this. Um, for 2023, I did one collection in three parts. The Louisville one, the one from North Carolina, and then the one from... Um, I don't know if it was Montana or Nebraska. And, I mean, it, it takes a lot of time because then you got to make travel arrangements, pick that stuff up. Local stuff, you know, makes more sense trying to find it. But then again, when you probably got, up, you know, 100 people out here doing it plus, it makes it a little bit harder. You got to start going into those outskirt towns and trying to find the stuff. But I think Com C, for, a, for the most part, from looking at it, from what I've heard about it, from getting it set up and understanding it more, it makes sense. Now, I will tell you the one caution I will say. If you do venture into this, do a lot of research. Don't try buying ports off the bat, because I haven't bought a port. Because what people do, if that card is worth $40, they're listing it for $160 and trying to sell their port for 50% off, and it's still double the price in the cards. <laughs> So that's not like a surefire method to make money onto it. I think this is if somebody has like a basement or a whole room full of cards and you start going through them, 
and you just don't have the time, I think this is the way. But no, you're going to be charged out front 50 cents a card. And then stuff sits there and you got to put the time and effort into it. It's just like anything you do. It's nothing that's going to be completely easy. There's always time that's going to be involved into it. But for me, this here takes a good chunk of my time away to where I can refocus into looking at cards for grading, not being burnt out onto it, being able to surf for, you know, buying stuff out there, whether it's auction houses, collections, whatever it may be, and be able to concentrate on the good old YouTube videos and stuff out there. But I was curious, like I said, see what everybody else, anybody's ever bought. I know they do slow shipping. You got to pay for top loaders if you buy on there, I believe, still. I know they did with Upper Deck EPAC. I'm not too sure directly off the site. But I know there used to be, what, like a week? They ship their card out and stuff like that. I don't know if that's still the case or not. But I think that... Overall, what they're doing, and plus, I, I found this out. You could convert over your store credit for blowout credit if you want to buy wax or whatever blowout has on to there. So, another kind of cool options on to it. As you guys seen going across the screen, I guess, uh, from my understanding, uh, their Black Friday event is like their huge event each year. So, um, take a look at that. I heard there's some killer deals that will be posted on there. I'm kind of curious to be the first time I get to see something like this and see what comes across onto it. All right, guys, I figure I, I know a lot of people always ask what I'm doing, and a lot of times I get a little bit distant between the videos, and this has been something I started looking at, then I started having to go through stuff. I sent one initial box of, like, 310 cards out, and then another one today of, like, I think it was 102 cards so I figured once those start to populate, no, that's what I was going to tell you guys. When you do send in, say, X amount of cards, they all don't hit your inventory like same day. And it, even though it says 16 weeks, I'm being told it's under a month right now. Um, but no, like, if you send 100 cards and not all 100 are going to populate once, you might get five this day, 30, you know, three days later, whatever it may be. They come in different stages. So... That's just something I just want to make sure everybody's aware of offhand in case you said, hey, I, you know, I'm sitting on, you know, 100,000 cards at the house. I'm sure at least, you know, a couple thousand might be good to get rid of on there and get some, you know, cash built out and buy a cool PC card like I want to do on here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, some of the goods and bads I've heard about it. Like I said, I've been looking at this stuff for, well, Com C for a while. Now, I've been looking at some different avenues because being a one-man working force doing all this stuff does take a lot of time without having employees and all that other stuff to cut, you know, cost here and there. I, I've looked at uh, this next year, ComC, like I said, the portal is up now, but by end of the year, it'll have cards listed on it, and I'll probably just start adding a description to the uh, videos and stuff. But uh, looking at using props, Dean, maybe for some high-end auction stuff. And I think what I'll do with that is I'll make like a bigger video showing, hey, I sent these off to Probstein. This is what they did. Because I just don't want anything like, you know, bid up or anything. Shill bidders, some people might think it's funny. Like, hey, oh, these are his cards. Let's bid these up and never pay for them type deal. But I think it'd be kind of cool one, one video just shown as an experiment. Like, hey, I sent four $1,000 cards plus to Probstein. This is how they did versus... Other sales during that time frame versus what some of the buy it nows are out here and stuff like that. Because what I've noticed is like his auctions will end and there'll be like maybe another card or two or three out there under that price. Kind of weird. <laughs> but we're going to see how that all goes. That's going to be like another, like I said, 2024 piece onto the goals. Other than that, guys, I appreciate it. as always. If you guys ever use ComC or you are, you have a portal, all that stuff, put the stuff down in the comments. I like to read through and see how everybody else's thoughts are on to it. Other than that, I am out. I will catch you next video.